Hello design lovers, I'm Ashley Childers and today I'm going to help you discover your interior design style by defining the seven interior design personalities and what characterizes each one. We've put together a free Discover Your Interior Design style guide and you can download it below. It covers all seven design personalities and will help you define which one fits you best. I know you're going to love today's video, so be sure to hit the subscribe button as we drop a new design video every week. Now, before we jump into the seven design personalities, let's talk a little bit about why it's so important to define your personal interior design style. First and foremost, we all need aesthetic direction when we are decorating and designing our homes. We need to approach our interiors in a way that takes our personal style, the context of our home, and the characteristics that we're drawn to from a particular design personality and to use all of those references as our guide to create cohesive spaces that reflect our style. So now that we understand how important it is to keep the core principles of our overarching design personality top of mind when decorating our home, let's jump into the seven design personalities and figure out which one you are. The first design personality for today is the naturalist. The naturalist is all about embracing nature in our interior spaces through a combination of natural materials, organic form, and an overarching connection to the outside world. These warm, welcoming spaces are created by using materials and architectural elements that honor the colors, textures, and diversity of our environment. If you are a naturalist, focus on embracing this style holistically in your home through the repetition of natural materials, the subtle use of organic colors, and decorating in a calming and refined way so that the natural elements can shine through. When decorating your home as a naturalist, try to incorporate things like natural wood on floors, ceilings, or walls, textural textiles such as high pile wool rugs, nubby linens, and slubbed organic cotton, natural stones like marble, quartzite, dolomite, and soapstone for countertops and backsplashes, solid wood furniture in natural finishes, handmade accessories that are crafted from organic materials, lime washed or plastered walls and ceilings, organic textural stone details on your walls or fireplace, and incorporating live plants into your interiors. If you connect with the naturalist design personality, then decorate your home in a way that celebrates nature and its unparalleled beauty. The result will be a home that is calming, rejuvenating, and grounded in organic interest. Moving on to our second design personality, the curator. This design personality is all about embracing that quiet luxury mindset and really focusing on a holistic approach to a space's overall design experience down to the last detail. The curator is sophisticated, layered, luxe, refined and elevated. It's a highly curated way to decorate your home and the result is soulful, thoughtful spaces. If you love the textural patina of a lime washed wall and the sexy sophistication of sculptural seating, your design personality is probably the curator. If you connect with the curator design personality, you're going to want to approach your interiors in a holistic way, being mindful of the interplay between each item in your rooms and the collective statement they make. When decorating your space, try to incorporate fine furniture details, such as solid wood construction, natural materials, and organic fabrics. Hand knotted wool or woven natural fiber rugs, solid unlacquered brass plumbing and lighting fixtures, textural soft goods made from natural fibers, 
artful and unique upholstery that has a sculptural quality, vintage accessories with unique character and patina, and original art framed in solid gallery style frames. If you're a curator, use these elements to create spaces that feel thoughtful, refined, and sophisticated. The third design personality we're covering today is called the collector. This design style is charming, cozy, and nostalgic. It's defined by layered interiors with depth and patina that embrace time-worn details with a feeling of history. The collector's home is cozy and welcoming to the core. When you're decorating your home as a collector, try to include things like soft, welcoming upholstery in classic shapes, accessory collections such as antique candle holders, books, or unique oddities, antique case goods and tables made of warm wood tones, vintage oil paintings, antique lighting in patinaed metal finishes, ceramic lamps with pleated fabric shades, wicker baskets and trays, antique wood framed mirrors, warm welcoming paint colors, throw pillows in natural fabrics with soft muted colors and delicate patterns, and patterned wool and natural fiber rugs. If you're a collector, Focus on creating spaces that feel layered and nostalgic by incorporating charming and welcoming details. Our fourth design personality is the Wanderer. This design personality is all about collecting inspiration from other cultures and combining various design influences and geographical references within your space. The Wanderer interiors are curious, collected and artistic. They incorporate handmade artisan elements and embrace the uniqueness of various cultures. If you seek out local artist markets and stuff your suitcase with handmade treasures every time you travel, you're probably a wanderer. If you see yourself as this design personality, then try incorporating a few of these items into your home. Handmade accessories from other cultures, original artwork in various mediums, antiqued mirrors with patina glass, sculptural lighting in various textures and shapes, bookshelves or curio cabinets filled with treasures from your travels, hand knotted rugs with traditional cultural motifs and handmade textiles such as Suzani's, block prints, cantha quilts, mud cloths, and batiks. The Wanderer's home is filled with treasures from around the world that celebrate our world, its diversity, its people, and its history. Moving on to the fifth design personality, and it's the new traditionalist. This design personality is classic, chic, sophisticated, and timeless. If you swoon over a pleated lampshade and are a sucker for a ginger jar, you're probably a new traditionalist. Things to look for if you have this design personality are antique wooden tables with turned legs, gourd style lamps with pleated shades, sisal rugs, classic architectural details like stacked crown moldings, wainscoting and paneled arched case openings, patterned wallpaper and textural grass cloths, tufted rolled arm sofas, original oil paintings in antique wooden frames, and silver serving pieces and accessories. If you're a new traditionalist, your motto is keep it classic. So embrace tradition by combining texture, color, pattern, and patina. Moving on to the sixth design personality, and that is the free spirit. This design personality gravitates towards soulful, creative, textural spaces. Always eclectic, the free spirit style feels layered and organic, embracing color, mixing styles, and incorporating natural motifs and quirky handmade details. If you're drawn to the free spirit, 
spirit design personality, embrace these concepts when decorating your home. Mixed wood tones and fabric patterns for a fun, easygoing vibe. Incorporating an abundance of live plants and flowers into your rooms. Look for art and accessories that celebrate color, pattern, and texture. Keep things light by adding in woven rattan and wicker furniture and accessories, and use patterned rugs with stylized natural motifs. If you're a free spirit, your goal is to create a home that's eclectic, fun, welcoming, and unique, just like you. Let's move on to our seventh and final design personality of the day, and that's the purest. This style is refined, minimal, sleek, and sophisticated. This personality is defined by highly edited and curated spaces filled with clean lined furniture and paired back modern decor. The purist's interior focuses on quality, not quantity. And this approach gives each piece in a room the space it needs to be fully appreciated. By incorporating sculptural pieces made of luxurious materials, the purists' interiors are a collection of refined rooms and sophisticated spaces. When decorating your home with a purist design personality, look for modern lighting fixtures in mixed materials, tonal textural rugs made out of natural fibers, streamlined upholstery with modern silhouettes and knife edge seams, modern architectural details like flat panel cabinetry, integrated drapery pockets and floating stair treads, large scale abstract art with refined color combinations, sculptural accessories in high end materials such as stone, metal, plaster or wood, and tapping into the power of editing and visual simplicity. If you're a purist, embrace a minimal mindset, but make each piece you put in your home spectacular. Really look at silhouettes and the combination of materials to keep things interesting and artful. Okay, design lovers, are you a naturalist, curator, collector, wanderer, new traditionalist, free spirit, or purist? Let me know in the comments which design personality you have. I'm so excited to see which one of the seven design personalities is the most popular in our community. And remember, we've created an entirely free design personality guide that you can download below. It will help you define your design personality and give you tips on how to decorate your home to match your style. If you love all things design, follow us over on Instagram at Ashley Childers Home and check us out on Pinterest to be inspired by all of our daily design adventures and become a part of our design loving community. And if you want even more designer tips and tricks right now, you're going to want to watch this playlist next. As always, I'm Ashley Childers. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, good design is for everyone. So create a home that inspires you. Have fun defining your design personality and fall in love with where you live one room at a time.